Hey y'all, Little Vertical Hope from Faith Builders Ministry today. I tell you what, I'm in my car, but I remember reading Luke 8, 11 this morning when Jesus was talking about the four souls. And then he, at the end, he said the soul, what we were talking about, the seeds being planted, the seeds are the word of God. Wow, my spirit leapt this morning. I'm telling you, we are all farmers. We are all called to be seed planters. And it's up to you what seed you plant. You can, you can sow a negative seed or you can sow a positive seed seeds. And the thing about seeds is they can stay in um, unworthy uh, conditions for a long time until the proper conditions uh, present itself and then it grows. So you may you may sow a seed today that maybe will not even grow in, for a year from now. But the point is sowing a seed. Let's be a farmer, man. Let's go out there and be farmers. I'm telling you what, um, the other morning I got up and the Lord laid a word upon my heart and immediately, I know he speaks these words to me as well, but I also know they're not just for me, they're for others. So immediately I said, Lord, who do you want this word to go to? And he told me the name and I sent it to her. And I'm going to tell you what, people, something fascinating happened. Um, as soon as I sent the word to her, she sent a response back immediately. And she said, I just got finished praying in the spirit, asking God for confirmation, asking him for the very thing that you sent. That is a powerful testimony, y'all. That's a powerful testimony of God saying, listen, I'm going to, I'm speaking to you and I want you to give this to someone else. In other words, I want you to plant this seed into the, to the soul of my daughter. And many of us hear this. Many of us, God's speaking to us just like he speaks to me when I'm getting ready he's speaking to you and you just don't do it and let me um let me implore you today to go ahead and put on your overalls put on your straw hat get your pocket of seeds out because i'm going to tell you what there's nothing sadder and to me than people dying with seeds still in their pocket with seeds that god wants you to plant while you're here on earth and you don't you refuse to do it because you don't want to get out of your comfort zone and you don't want to send a text or call someone that you don't know very well again it happened to me this morning i was trying to get ready and get out the door and the lord sh showed me um, a person I was supposed to send a seed to this morning. So I just stopped everything I was doing and sent it. I know that um, many of you out there, this is an uncomfortable territory for you to tread upon. It's uncomfortable waters. But I just want to encourage you today that we are seed planters from the beginning of time we are supposed to be planting seeds into the lives of others now some of you are really good at planting seeds of negative and very good at planting seeds of you know woe is me and very good at planting seeds uh, uh with your mouth when you're angry or upset you know and you you let your temper go flying and you're very good at planting those kinds of seeds but i'm going to tell and you'll say and i hear from you so i know this to be true i hear from you daily of things that you do and say that you regret and and i hear many of you say well i just can't control i just can't control my tongue i just can't and i beg to differ because if you were in front of your pastor you wouldn't say that to your husband or if you were in front of your pastor, you wouldn't say that to your wife. You can control your tongue. I know the Bible has scriptures that says it is really hard to control, but it didn't say it was impossible. <laughs> and so you do have a choice. It is your decision to choose either to plant good seeds or bad seeds into the lives of other people. It is your choice to have a positive attitude or a negative attitude. It's your choice. I know bad things happen in our lives. I know things come against us. I know a lot of rotten situations are out there because, again, I hear from you. But we can still plan to be positive and be a light into other people's lives even when our lives are not looking the way we want them to do. You plant seeds that you want to grow in other people's that you also you want to grow in your own lives. Amen. Yay men. Yay men. So listen, <laughs> we're all called to be farmers. So let's go farm. <laughs> let's plant some good seeds today. I'm telling you what, there's nothing like planting a good seed in the soil of somebody else's life. There's nothing like the harvest from that nothing and what you plant you will reap so just remember that if you're planting great seeds out there you're going to chances are you're going to plant some great seed you're going to reap what those seeds are going to bring back but if you're always planting a negative bad hateful mean um 
seed, then you will reap the harvest of those seeds. Yay, man. Yay, man. Now, listen, y'all go out there. You know what I say? Go out there and be willing to be an answer to somebody else's prayer. And I know that their answer is not a bad seed. <laughs> God bless you. Bye-bye.